Alright guys, it's going to be a little bonus video. Customer did confirm to go ahead and do the bypass relay setup. So, I have already completed the setup. Part number for the relay that I bought. It's a RL45. The socket for the relay. Part number is RS40. Relay installation socket. And these are... Um, I bought them from AutoZone. <laughs> Alright guys, so the way I did this, this is a, a 5 pin uh, socket and a 5 pin relay. So pretty much uh, the wires that I used was yellow, black, white and blue. Our black one being our, our control feed, which is our, our power feed which is uh, tied in with that uh, blue with a uh, green stripe wire that wire only provides power with the uh, position number two but not position number one and with the vehicle running so as you can see the Tesla is connected to ground that wire right at the moment is is not providing power so our test light is off and then so that's gonna be our pin 86 our pin 85 which is our common ground it's actually bolted to chassis ground as you can see there and then uh, the yellow wire which is our pin number 87 which is normally open this wire is actually connected is tied in with the green with the yellow wire which is for the relay connector and then finally the blue wire which is our pin 30 it's our fuse wire which is integrated with that blue wire which is controlled by the uh, computer all right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that when, when i turn the key to the position number two this Tesla is going to turn on, but the only downfall by doing this setup is that the fuel pump is going to be running at all times with the position number two. But during position number one, actually Tesla doesn't provide any power. So that's at least that's the advantage that this uh, power, power fuel wire only provides power with the, key, with the key on engine off. But during the accessory mode, it doesn't provide power. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys with position number one. Position number one, which is the accessory mode. Test light is off. Now position number two, test light should turn on and remain on. So, like I said, we're bypassing the fuel pump system relay, which, uh, which the computer activates it for two, three seconds and then turns it off. So in this case, the fuel pump is going to be running. I'm going to turn it back off. So next thing I want to do for you guys is connect the, the relay connector back into its position. And then pretty much show you guys the fix. Alright. Alright, so with the connector already in place, I'm going to go ahead and start the engine. So there you go. So that's the way to bypass this system and make your vehicle work again. Alright guys, so hopefully this video is useful for anyone. If you guys have any comments or any questions, please comment below this video and I'll gladly respond you know, to your questions. Alright.